In the previous video we looked at creating registration, the feature for registration, which is obviously needed before we can log in. And in this video we're going to look at how to create the actual login functionality. If I show you how this works, we created in the last video um, a record for user blog J and his password was open123. Now we can just verify that that is indeed true by checking the file. So let's close that. Let's see if this works. Access granted. Now obviously if I had typed in something else such as rubbish, even more rubbish, it would say try again. But if I put in something valid, it allows me access. So how is this done? Here's your code. This is the registry screen which we created in the last video. And here, quite simply, is the code for your login screen. First thing we do is we set it what's called a boolean flag and we set it to true which again you can approach this in any way you like but this is just saying that if the user is not logged in so we're using a while loop here which we can break out of uh, this this line here so while the user is not logged in open the dating file in read mode enter the username and password Again, we're calling on our very clever CSV reader. It's not a writer this time, it's a reader. And here we simply say, and this is the same thing that you do every time that you're dealing with a file. For row in reader, that is for every single row which is stored in the file, and for every field, every field is referring to each individual cell, so to speak, like name, username, password. So every field in the row, if the field is equal to the username that they put in and the next field, or you could you could put in as row one, because row one, if I show you this, this is the username, this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, etc. So this is row one. So if that particular field is equal to the password that they put in, then change the boolean flag to false, which would effectively mean that you would break out of this loop. You'd break out of this loop, okay, and you'd go over here. Um, else, break, again, and then you have a little if function at the end which says if not, lo not logged in is true, which means if it remains the same, keep trying again. Don't break out of the loop, keep going again. Else, access granted. So in the next video, we're going to look at creating some of these other features, such as the search feature, the matchmake clever algorithm, and we'll move on to that next. Leave this on the screen.